stock cars and next gens. Two different generations of racers were present within Cars 3, each one sporting unique and different designs. The question is, however, who rocked the design better? The stock cars or the next gen? So yes, stock car versus next gen is back on my channel. A lot of new subscribers probably don't even know what this is. But basically, this is a series that I did, I think, two videos on in 2019 where I compared Cars 3 stock cars to their next-gen counterparts and tried to decide which one was better. And I haven't done a video in that series since then. I've intended to. I've wrote down which sponsors I want to cover, but I've just never gotten around to it. But now, we're finally getting around to it with one of my favorite sponsors of all time, N2O Cola. So let's get into it. So we do have H.J. Hollis repping the next-gen and Parker Brakeston representing the stock car generation, as I'll call it, because I don't really know what gen to call this. Now, I do also have the Cars 1 stock car, which doesn't factor in the end results. It's just here to kind of showcase the legacy and to see who kind of stayed true to the original n Cola design. So they're all numbered 68 still, which is cool, because sometimes they, sometimes the numbers shifted between generations, which was weird. And as you can see, none of them are really the same shade of purple that the Cars 1 Racer Manny Flywell is. And I don't hate that. Manny, you know, he's got like this dark, dark purple with like a very dark green color it's like a, it's trying to be lime green but it's not quite lime green it's weird it's different but we're not here to talk about him um as we move into the stock car generation things kind of changed so it's still primarily a purple design however the big difference is now it's a bit of a different shade it's a lot closer to blue than it is to a pure purple color and the green is much more of a lighter green. It's not like the weird wannabe lime color on Manny. It's a much more defined green. And I think that is awesome. I love how the design for the green comes up over the fender and sort of like trails off into these like patterns here. It's almost like a checkerboard kind of design. It's like it's streaking almost. I think that's a really cool element. Um, another thing is the actual N2O logo itself. That got completely changed. The NO are still primarily in focus with the two being much larger but still smaller than the NO. Larger than it was on Manny but still smaller than the NO. And the word cola is much bigger. All around the logo is just much bigger so you can see it better they cut out all the excess like pattern behind the logo and now it's just the brand name so you see it and you immediately recognize it and you just focus on it which is a really cool idea on the back here i don't really like how the n and o kind of cut off at the back there i think that's a bit of a weird choice i don't know if that's how it's like in the movie i don't think we ever got a top-down shot of Parker, I, I seriously doubt it, but it's possible. And 2O on the back here. I do like how they almost managed to make the hole in the O be the spot where the um, camera is. They almost had that perfectly. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but I kind of hope it was because I think that's a really cool little thing that they could do. But overall, I think the stock car design is pretty standard and straightforward. It's a very, it's a very big evolution from what Manny stood for, or what Manny looked like, I should say. But it's still in line with N2O Cola. You look at it and you think, yeah, that could be what N2O Cola looks like however many years later. So definitely a big fan of Parker. It's going to be tough for HJ to beat it. However, one thing I do like a lot is the color. They've now made green an integral focus 
of the design, which is pretty cool. You know, if you look on Manny, it's extremely subtle. It's like one line on each side, and that's basically it. Parker is still kind of the same thing, except now he's got added lines up here, and the green is just, it's larger and it's more defined, like you can see it better, it's a different color, so slightly more green on Parker, and by the time we get to HJ, he's just like half and half purple, or like a lavender color almost, and then half and half on the green side, which is just cool. Now. One thing I am noticing is that the N2O logo, which did drastically change, it's still large. It still doesn't have, like, the excess picture on it, like, of the dots and stuff that Manny's had. But I don't really know. It just feels a lot more corporate, I guess. Like, I feel like even just the slanted element of Parker's logo... And the way the font was written, like, I just, I think Parker's logos look better, almost. And it's not even consistent in terms of what color they use. Because if you look on the hood here, N2O is green and coal is white. If you look on the side here, N2O is blue for some reason. And cola is, like, tucked away up there in orange. You can barely see it. Um, that's a very weird design choice. I don't know why they did that. And then here, N2O is orange, and or N2O is green, and Cola is orange. So it's very, very weird. But like I said, I do love how they did the lavender. It protrudes over the fender and comes all the way, wraps around the back. And then, <coughs> excuse me. Well, lots to talk about today, making my throat hurt. Um, and it comes around and wraps around over this fender. So it's completely wraps around the back. I think that's a really cool idea. And overall, I'm a very big fan of that. And then the green, you know, it like cuts its way through all of the purple elements. You've got purple going over the roof down, over the hood of the spoiler, and the area around it. He's got a very angry expression, or I don't know, determined. I think I always say determined expression when I review next gens because all the expressions are basically the same. It looks like Thailand Flipped Over is finally going to change that, though. So I'm really looking forward to covering that release when it comes out. Because huh, it looks like he finally has a different, unique next-gen expression. But I don't really focus too much on the expressions, really, because that's not a part of the actual brand design. You know, <laughs> HJ didn't paint himself this permanent gross expression you know but i will say you do definitely want your racers to be happy when they're repping your brand you don't really want them to be looking angry all the time that's not good for business i'm sure but ultimately the question is which one is better um i do like the font for the 68 i think that looks modern but also doesn't look too out there i guess kind of like how the N2O font looks a very different, and it doesn't fit. Like, this is very different from this 68, but it fits still. Do you know what I mean? But, I don't know. It's very hard to say. And overall, when it comes down to whether I prefer the stock car or the next gen, honestly, I'm not sure. On the one hand, I think this feels like a more natural progression of Manny Flywheel. It still feels... Like N2O Cola, but on the other hand, I do like what they did with the color on HJ. I think making green a prominent part of the branding was a good choice. I like that choice a lot. And I don't really, like, I, I don't hate the logo. I think the logo is fine. I think it looks a little bit too different, but I think it looks good enough on the color scheme. So overall, if I had to pick only one to keep, man, this is hard. I think I'm gonna have to go with HJ, barely. Like, if HJ is like a nine out of 10, Parker is like an eight and a half out of 10. It's that close. 
I just, I am biased because I really do like green. It's one of my favorite colors. But I don't know. The blend of the purple lavender color and the green just feels, I don't know. Like, Parker feels like the natural in-between progression for Manny, but HJ does truly feel like the next generation. And overall, I'm just a, I just like his design a little bit more. But I am very curious to hear what your thoughts are on this debate in the comments below. Let me know if you prefer stock car or the next gen version of n Cola. And yeah, also give me suggestions for what sponsors to cover in the future. I have some ideas of ones I want to do first, but I am open to hearing your feedback and trying to iron out a solid order for which ones I want to do. So yeah, let me know in the comments that, and I will see you all in another video. Bye.